I'm going to walk you guys through the QC process on an Argos machine. This unit is a 240 volt. So we've got a converter down here that I will use to plug into it. We start off by turning it on, checking that all the LEDs work. I'll connect to it in the app and I'll make sure that all of the temperatures are working correctly, all the fluid probes are good. I can even go in and check that I've got the latest version of the firmware. Um, yeah, so then I will start. I already filled this up partially for an initial pressure check on our hydrostatic pressure setup. But I'll start by adding some uh, BioCAF to the boiler. So we add a tiny amount and this just helps give it one last cleaning before it goes out the door. All right, I will add the rest of the water. Got our super high tech fill line here. We always keep a boiler cap and um, piston assembly. These are purely for testing. So I'll slide those in. I'm gonna, oh, I guess the machine's been on. So I'm gonna keep the machine on, let it heat up. I can keep an eye on all the measurements. Slip a drip tray under there. I'm gonna screw this in. This is a great time where we get to check the threads on these group head screws, make sure that they all go in nicely. Grab this driver, she can go over here. Okay, so you'll notice that I keep the side panel off only on the temp dial side. This allows us to keep an eye on things so we can take a look underneath, make sure there's no leaks. And this is the first of two tests. So we basically are checking for leaks and we're checking that everything's functioning correctly. The anti-vacuum valve in the back normally does drip a little bit. That's normal for all that uh, anti-vacuum valves. So we'll check to make sure that that is functioning normally and doesn't have excessive dripping. Um, so we'll make sure that usually around 80 Celsius, 80 to 90 Celsius, it's built enough pressure to close up. And then, Pretty much what we'll do, we've got a SCASE that is put into our port filter. We've got the Fluke thermometer where we will check temperatures. The last thing I need to do is grab my computer because we'll record all the data. Okay, so we've got a giant spreadsheet here where we keep track of the machine and all the data for each shot. So basically, this doesn't have a serial number yet, so I will put the customer's name and my date for the first QC. So we start off with it at a zero offset, and basically, right as we're about to pull the shot, I'm gonna record what the group head temperature is, the boiler temperature, and then we'll record what the peak shot temperature is. So I'm gonna get all that set up while we're finishing heating up. All right, hopefully you guys can see this, but if you're looking at the app, you can see we have the red mark is what we're aiming for. We do all of our QC testing at 90 Celsius, so we're just about at the target temperature. So I'm gonna record Oh. I don't know why the app cut out. So I'm gonna record the group head, it's 33C, boiler is at 118C. All right, so our green light is on, QC, or the um, SCASE is in. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull a shot, bleed some air out. Our max here is 89.9. That's uh, pretty great for a 90C set temp. So I'm gonna record 89.9. And so I'm not gonna make any offsets to the firmware. I'm bleed any remaining water out. I've got a dump bucket here. So it's interesting, after pulling a ton of shots, we actually kind of recently realized that um, the water hardness will tend to clog up this tiny little orifice here. So that is something that we've got to keep an eye on and clean. I'm actually gonna leave this off. So basically this pause in between will simulate prepping the next shot anyways, where 
my porter filter wouldn't be in there, so I'm gonna keep it out. So we're gonna let it cool for a little bit. I can even artificially cool it some. I don't wanna do too much, because I wanna keep it realistic. So I'll bleed a little bit of steam out. <clears throat> Cool. I'm gonna let it cool the rest of the way off on its own. And so I'll kind of walk you through basically what would happen if we wanted to make an update. Let's say it pulled too hot or too cool. We'd go to manage Argos, we'd scroll down, we have a set point offset here. And so that set point offset, uh, we'd be able to tune it either positive or negative based on how much over or under we are. So we're at next temp, we're at 44, 45, I'm gonna say 45. And then we're at 111 for the boiler. Sorry about that dirt bike going by. Let's hook the skase back up. So our light is on. Again, I'm gonna manually bleed this. We're at 91.2 is our max, so a little bit hot. <clears throat> All right. So we have found that our first shot usually does pull um, a tiny bit cooler than the remaining three. Um, and so that's something we're working on updating as we get more and more data. So I'm actually gonna adjust this set point to minus one and see how that helps the next few shots. So we're pretty close to the next shot. I'll wait till the line is pretty spot on. We're at 50 and 107 and 107. <clears throat> All right. All right, so we're at 91.5. A little hot, like a little minus two. And so, again, this is just the first round of QC, so just to make sure no leaks or anything. Next round is where we'll be able to double check our offset values, make sure we're getting consistent readings. Um, and yeah, we can kind of fine tune from there. This tells me in our firmware we're likely going to want to do another small update where our first shot is um, bumped up a little bit. All right, cool. So we're at temp again. So we're at minus two now, 55 and 103. All right, let's pull that. Much better than 90.5. Cool. So pretty much from here, I'll kick on the steam mode. I'll let it build up steam pressure, make sure everything seals correctly still. And then I'll go ahead and bleed a bunch of the boiler cleaner out through the steam wand to help get everything cleaned up. I'll dump it and then I go and I blow any air out with um, our hydrostatic setup. And then I'll sit on the shelf to cool off before it gets the second QC um, the next day. So. That is our QC process, well, step one of it.